All right, let's go. We got ourselves some Structures Brewing Company. This one's called Junior, and it is a session IPA with a wee whittle 4.0% alcohol. And it says art by the world famous Matt Reed. Don't know how famous he really is. And let's see if they got any additional info. Nope, just where it's from. Structures Brewing, Bellingham, Washington. Let's give it a crack. I have had this one before. It's a good one. Okay, so pretty light, um, crisp, refreshing, easy drinking, the whole uh, slur of those words. But it does have some nice uh, hop character to it. Even though it's light, it does have a little bit of um, pine and bitterness. And so instead of going the uh, kind of hazy, juicy, fruity route, they went more um, traditional, bitter, piney, and... But it's not, it's just a tiny little bite. It's not a lot. Mm hmm Good stuff. All right. So we are getting back to it with some First Line Shave Kituwa. And just a fucking awesome label right there. You know I love the black and red. And that's what it looks like on the inside. I've used it a few times. You can see where... I've scooped. Really good scent on this one. We got it right here. First line shave. Awesome side label as well. Just that sweeping, burning, uh, like embers and whatnot. Collaboration with Black Mountain Shaving. FLS 3.0. There's the ingredients. So just really cool artwork. Really nice collaboration. I love the scent on this one. This right here is their EDT, or EDP, I'm unsure. Let's see. EDP, if you could see their uh, labeling there. Very nice. And let's just go ahead and crank off a couple sprays of that to get the party started. And we already got it. I already got it whipped up. I got my uh, crazy crazy badger brush there you can see that little character uh wish albert was still around making brushes because he did have some pretty nice pores this one is a, is a nice uh crimson and black um uh, pour with a no frills badger knot on top and then we got the remainder of our lather in our lancaster razor works bowl so let's get this show on the road <clears throat> Always a pleasure using First Line Shave. I was asked today um, by J.R. Reyes. I don't know if he has something in the works or if he was just curious, but J.R. Reyes on Instagram, he asked me, uh, what are my highest scented scent strength soaps? And... Um, do I think they're a 10 out of 10 scent strength, or is there such thing as 10 out of 10 scent strength? Right now, my nose is degraded. Um, my sense of smell is just barely coming back. Um, but I can smell some of my stronger scented soaps, like Kitua. I really don't think there's such thing as a 10 out of 10 scent strength of soap that's what I told him uh, just laughing around I said I don't think there's a 10 out of 10 scent strength of soap if there is I haven't heard of it I told him I've heard of some 8's never heard of any 9's or 10's and probably just because I think there's sort of a limit to where artisans will go even if even if some artisans sent things a little bit stronger than others, I think there's still, they still have limits. And at some point they know there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of fragrance burns. You know, if I go over this threshold. At a certain point, they're probably like, 
you know, the majority of people are probably going to get by without any reactions. But then there's that point where it's like, all right, a lot more people are probably going to have <laughs> a reaction if I go past this point. So I think even the artisans that sent strength stuff uh, pretty highly, they still have a threshold. And the reason I don't think a lot of soaps are 10 out of 10 scent strength is because artisans are wise enough not to go all the way up to 10 out of 10. I think 10 out of 10 is where a shave soap would be like. You don't need an aftershave in order for the scent <laughs> to fucking linger. And you don't um, need to take the, <laughs> the lid off the jar to fucking smell it. You know what I mean? Like 10 out of 10 would be bold and banging um, in the hyperbolic time chamber. Like, it would, it would be just insane. So, anything from 5 to 8 is where I enjoy it. And uh, when my nose is working, this one's probably a 6 and a half, 7. It's, it's up there. It's, it's bold and banging. I'm going to be using the good old Blackland Vector. And it's got a uh, Feather Professional blade in it. And I don't know how many uses it has on it. One thing I always like showing off with the Vector is just how slim a profile that head really is. That is just insane how crazy um, thin a profile that is. So that's what we're using today. Let's get with it. If the blade's uncomfortable, we could always uh, switch it out. But uh, we'll see. It's always a pleasure using the Vector. And it's always a pleasure using First Line Shave. I'm so grateful to, uh, to smell things again, even if it's um, not as strong as before I'm just grateful that it's still there <laughs> I know I've heard stories of people you know that it's been months since they've smelt anything I would be absolutely banging my head against the wall if that was me and I really 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 feel sorry for the people that are going through that the fragrance is the, my favorite part of the wet shaving hobby and going without it even for just a week and a half two weeks has been a real fucking bummer um putting my nose up to things that I love you know sticking my nose in the soaps or spraying my colognes on and just not getting anything at all was fucking depressing. So I'm glad that I'm uh, slowly but surely getting just a little bit of that back. It's nowhere near to the full capacity that it was before, but at least I'm getting something. And that is, it's a blessing, honestly. All right, let's get some more lather going here um so yeah Kitawa I've already done a review on Kitawa it's a fantastic scent Kitawa was one of the ones that I was uh I kept spraying on me day after day trying to uh in hopes that when my sense of smell came back Kitawa would be the first thing that I smell <laughs> It was, uh, it was a hope and a dream <laughs> to, uh, smell again. And I just kept spraying Kitawa, um, on my clothes. And I kept coming in here to, uh, throw some aftershave splash on my neck and cheeks. Just in hopes that when my scent returned, my sense of smell returned, that I would, uh, smell something fantastic like Kitawa and so that is that's been the game plan 
and when my sense of smell returned, I knew just the just the set that I was gonna use for my shave because it's the set that I've been been waiting to use um, ever since my sense of smell kind of went away. So super happy to be smelling Kitawa again and to just be smelling in general. I have whipped up one hell of a nice lather and uh, probably more than I need on a second pass, but it's there, so we'll use it. <clears throat> Had a little itch there. See a couple people have been trying the Vector for the first time. Seems like everybody's enjoying it. I remember when I was in the hunt for the Vector. It's a very uh, sleek and modern looking razor. And uh, as far as a profile goes, it doesn't get much uh, more slim than this. It is definitely a, uh, for me, it's an efficient razor, but even though it has some decent blade feel, I don't feel that it is uh, scary or overwhelming. Still maintains a nice level of comfort even though it's quite efficient. And uh, it's just a pleasure to use. <clears throat> blade isn't uh, feeling tuggy or anything so that's a plus. I was kind of worried because I don't remember the last time I used it. I was kind of worried I might have to call an audible and switch blades in the middle of the shave but not today. One thing about these uh, Artist Club blades is they do cover a whole lot more ground. And although they don't have as many options as a DE safety razor blades, they do have a, a few options, a decent uh, selection. So even though they, they don't have as many, there's definitely enough for you to shop around and kind of find what works for you. That's about as BBS as BBS is going to get right there. All right, let's uh, rinse this off. So it was, <laughs> it was a pleasure using First Line Shave today. Happy that my sense of smell is coming back. I know it's been, I know it's been a topic that I've kind of uh, beat the, beat a dead horse talking about here but it's what's been on my mind for the last week and a half is <laughs> my sense of smell so thanks for bearing with me <clears throat> but always a pleasure to use first line shave made one hell of a lather with it today it was kind of nice using that uh, crazy badger brush uh, He's not making brushes anymore. Hasn't been for quite a while, and I've always liked that brush. Always, I haven't got rid of it. It was one of my uh, one of my first custom brushes, if not my very first. I can't remember. I think Wolf Whiskers might have been my first custom brush, and then that Crazy Badger brush might have been my second. But it's a very nice pour. And even though that, that knot on it isn't the densest, it still has quite soft tips. And I've always been able to whip up a, uh, a good lather with it. And I just, I've never really had any thoughts of getting rid of it because it's always performed well for me. Even though it's 
kind of a no name, no hype, no frills brush. <clears throat> And it, it actually fit the shape of the picture pretty fucking perfectly. So there's that as well. Of course, this lather is gonna want to stay refuge in my beard. I'll have to get the rest off cam. Let's take a little swig here. Quidoi. Really good stuff. Excellent collaboration. This is the uh, special edition aftershave bottle. This big old huge hurricane bottle right here. Great label on it. Let's see, we got the ingredients on this side. <clears throat> so you can see there, the uh, <clears throat> they managed to put a quality restrictor on it even though it's kind of an oversized bottle and all that. I'll go ahead and pour out the back, even though the labels are waterproof. Always just being safe, just in case, pouring away from the label. Oh yeah. And the first line shave, aftershave, is one of my favorite aftershave splashes. One of my favorite uh, aftershave products. It always leaves my skin feeling great. <clears throat> Get a little bit more here and go for the neck area. Get some <laughs> Mac shaves slaps. Got to kind of put your fucking step into it, put your back into it. <clears throat> if you want to be like Mac, we all want to be like Mac. I'll get some in the beard so it kind of hangs around. I just kind of get a little bit of that raspberry sweetness. And then some of that warmth with, uh, if I, if I try real hard, I could just barely pick up a little bit of that, like, um, char, that char character that Kitawa has to it. I love it. It's a wonderful fragrance. I cannot wait for, uh, <laughs> cannot wait for my scent to be back to full, uh, full strength. All right, guys, that'll do it. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, shave. I know I did. Um. Hope you guys have a good rest of your hump day and a good rest of your week. Cheers. Catch you guys on the next one.